And Rashad, I'll start with you. Can you explain how the city's One Love Louisville campaign is working to reduce overdoses and substance abuse in the city? Sure, um, absolutely. So first of all, thanks for inviting me to be here tonight. Um, you know, as Mayor Fisher stated, we recognize that uh, substance, uh, substance abuse, overdose-related deaths, um, homicides and suicides were, were three preventable deaths that we really wanted to focus on addressing as a city and to have a place where we could lead some of that work and convene uh, experts who could really kind of help move that work forward in a productive kind of way. And we realize as well that when we talk about some of these forms of violence that these are um, categorized also by the Center for Disease Control as, as public health problems. Um, so we wanted to maintain that lens as, as we talked about some of these issues. When we began this work in 2012, we really started with a community work group that uh, vol graciously volunteered their time. It was about 100 to 150 community members who really worked with us, well, not me, I wasn't enrolled at that time, but really worked with the city uh, to, to, uh, to define what it meant to do some of this work uh, collectively. So this was called the Violence Prevention Work Group. Mayor Fisher convened these folks together. And what they determined was that in order to do some of this work, we needed to bring together uh, folks in the community who are well-versed in substance abuse and overdose prevention, um, have been doing this work for some time, and who could come to the table to really coordinate and articulate what that work looks like. Um, that process led to the development of our One Love Louisville Community Plan, which is a collection of 13 goals and 42 initiatives, two of which focus specifically on substance abuse and overdose prevention. So members of this group include folks from the Criminal Justice Commission, community mental health, community substance abuse treatment providers, Louisville Metro Police Department, corrections, public health, Jefferson County Public Schools, and we even have a local pharmacist who joins some of this work as well. And the goal of the group is fairly straightforward, to reduce overdoses in Louisville Metro and uh, the, the rates of substance abuse with youth in our community. Uh, several initiatives fall underneath that goal, uh, some of which include researching the efficacy of Narcan and sharing those findings with some of the service providers mentioned disseminating harm reduction strategies, as well as treatment and recovery options, community outreach and education, increasing the number of pediatricians who are using standard substance abuse screening tools, standardizing substance abuse screening across schools and across school systems, and implementing prevention strategies across school systems. So this group really kind of focuses on that bucket and those initiatives meets monthly and really kind of pushes the work forward through that collective, uh, it's really a collective impact model to do the work. Thank you. Yeah. And now how could a citizen concerned about the epidemic become involved? Just anyone on, uh, who was interested? Sure, well I appreciate you asking that. We, I brought some uh, copies, but as I look at the crowd, I clearly do not have enough copies for everybody, but I'd love to either give all of those out, but then also share that you can visit us on onelovelu.org to get connected to some of the work that's going on. With that particular work group that meets, we're always looking for folks who wanna get engaged and help move that work forward. So whether you're a service provider, uh, whether you're a concerned citizen, if you're somebody who wants to understand what some of the complex issues are and to help talk about that and raise awareness around that, uh, we're always looking to build in more participation, and more help around doing this work effectively. So I do have some contact information around that specifically, but if nothing else, uh, please just note that onelovelu.org, that's a great way to look a little bit more deeply into the work that we're doing, and then to connect with me and my staff to, to really sort of figure out how we can plug in as well. But the reality is, uh, you know, we need everybody involved, and, and although my office is leading many of these efforts, we rely heavily on the community partners that I've talked about, and at the end of the day, if we're gonna move the needle on this issue, it's gonna really require that all of us are thinking about uh, the things that we can do big and small, and whether that's uh, talking about um, some of these issues in your communities, uh, at work, at home, with your friends, um, or whether that's really kind of thinking more robustly about how you might be addressing this issue um, if you are a service provider, and what are some particular ways that you can help build more efficacy in, into the work that you're doing. Um, but the reality is that we really need every single person thinking about uh, what they can do on an individual level to make our city a safer and healthier place. Thank you.